Well, we're back to the softball field park, and got old there's Scoot Doobie. <laughs> and uh, man, we got everybody. The kids are out of school early, so we're gonna go over here in this unkitted area and start over there. Then we might go to do a little forest hunting later on. So secret place. A secret place. Is it a secret place? Secret. Oh, see. Oh, it's secret place. He won't even tell me where it is. He says, I've got to be blindfolded to be taken there. All right, let's get the hunt. Okay, we're, we got some woods and we got us a creek. And we're off in the, I don't even know where I am. I'm, I'm not allowed to even guess where I am. Is, isn't that correct, Digger Dunn? Yeah. I'm not even sure where we are. <laughs> what you got there, bud? Well, it's just a Winchester 270. Shell, so. 270? I mean, somebody's been back here. Yeah. And I found on the trail, I found this, uh, we'll call it a relic because, you know, it's been in the ground a long time. We, we just now started, so hopefully we'll find some. And you said you found a uh, pistol shell, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, we'll check it on there with our finds later. So the creek I was at a while ago, Digger Dunn, he's back over there. And then there's another creek right down there. And there's, yeah, there's activity. You can see where people have been in here drinking beer. And we just can't tell if this is built up or not. So we're just going to see what we find. Uh, I'm hearing, got a quarter signal, and it's a 2004 quarter, and that's old. <laughs> Getting a coin signal inside this piece of wood. Huh. How about that? That's interesting. Still in there. Well, let me put the camera down for a sec. Well, we saw some evidence that people have been shooting in here, and uh, what I had inside that piece of wood is a is a uh, shell. So I'll dig it out, and we'll get a close up of that uh, of the shell. It's heavy. Well, there's a piece of wood that was near the other one, and it has. Uh, Two bullets in it. So we've been back here shooting for sure. I dropped the other one. There's one of them out there. Another one's over in here somewhere. I'll find it. This is what we came in here for, folks. It's four inches, solid dime signal. 1947. I told, I told Digger Dunn this was good. I just had a feeling. Bigger dime. Where are you? Silver dime. What? Silver dime. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> what year? Uh, 1947. What year? 47 dime. Woo. Right here, and I found a whole bunch of found a whole bunch of bullets. In I found a bunch of bullets too. All right. Yeah. Why don't you come on in here? Let's hunt this. Maybe we can find some more. How about that? Sorry for the hollering. I had to get him over here. Feeling about this dead gum place. That's nice. You want me to take you where I found it? Yeah. Okay, right through here. <clears throat> Have you been back here already? Well, no. Not where you are right now. We're just back here in the woods. There's that hole right there. What, what are the odds of a dead coming down? That's I, incredible. I don't know. That's nice. Yeah. Alright, keep going. I hear you. And my dead gun battery's fluctuating. I might have to go back and get some more. Walking down this path right here, 
came from that direction. We're hunting all down through here, and right here in the middle of the path was a, a quarter, and it was just right under the surface. I could detect it with my pinpointer. 1970. What you got, Double D? He motioned that he found a quarter over in that flat. And uh, I've got a dime signal right here at about two inches. We're both getting just a little bit tired. This is kind of sort of extreme metal detecting for an old fart like me. Tell you the truth, we've been going for several hours. And, and I've got a ring find tomorrow, it's ring search, so I didn't want to be all wore out for that, but sure hope I can find that guy's ring and put a successful ring find up. Well, I gotta tear this open. I believe there's a quarter here. Let me turn the camera off. Signal is part of an insignia. It sure comes in. Listen to that. That's a solid dime signal. Bigger done won't tell me where we are, so I'm just gonna. And if I find out, I can't, you know, whatever. Well, didn't you, you, mean much good. you remember that watch, Double D? I do. I remember. found that in the Gulf of Mexico, that. and that sucker is still running. Look at that most excellent time right there. It's, it's like, watch. get out of the way, sleeve. That's beautiful. It's air on 10 after 5. And what'd you find today? Well, not much. You, you whipped me again. Uh, just uh, three quarters. Six dimes, five dimes, and a penny, and some 270 casings, and 38 and 40 caliber, and whatever else is down there. But just about all those uh, 270s, did you love? Yeah. I guess somebody's just down here hunting, but we can't tell them, we can't just say where they're hunting because it almost gave it away. Yeah. Well, those are nice finds, Double D. Whatever this thing is, it's yeah. porcelain. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm positive that's old. Yeah, it's some, I don't know, it's porcelain, but I don't know, it's old, whatever yeah. it is. Okay, there's some of the junk, I found this, this is all found in the forest. Oh, and there's your junk. Look at all that stuff, we were hunting in the forest, and my goodness, it's junky in there. And uh, we got people, they're having a big time riding their motorcycles today. This is a really good place for motorcycle riding, lots of good trails back in there. Yeah, I found, uh, these are quarters. I uh, found some dimes, and this is a combination of park and here, by the way, for both of us. Found these pennies. And these were all stuck in rotten wood, and I pulled them out, and I left this bullet in the rotten wood. Uh, I guess somebody was target practice back there, and, and I found this uh, silver dime, 19, 1947. Let's see if I can get a close. Deep in the wood. It was. It was just really crazy back in there. 1947. Now I've got to believe, Double D, that, that uh, there's got to be some more back there. Yeah, I think when that creek bed dries up, we'll head over there and check that out. Well, I sure appreciate you finding this and looking it up and had a great time today.